Hello, my friends, children, and grown-ups. I have a story to share with you today called The Better Offer. This story is adapted from a historical Islamic tale. I think you will enjoy it. Uthman ibn Affan was one of the very first followers of the prophet Muhammad, who started the Muslim religion. He was a very wealthy man who was known far and wide for his generosity. In fact, he was so generous with his money and with his possessions that people still tell stories about him today, more than a thousand years later. Uthman lived in Medina, which is in modern day Saudi Arabia. This is a very dry part of the world where there isn't very much rain. One year, in 640 to be precise, the rains did not come and there was a drought. Everything was dry and without any rain, food and crops withered. There were no figs on the fig trees, no olives on the olive branches. The people of Medina and all of their animals were running out of food. In fact, things got so bad that the people had to eat leaves from the trees in order to survive. Without food, the people knew that they would starve. You can imagine then how happy the people were the day they learned that a caravan of 1,000 camels was approaching Medina. Each camel was laden down with food. The people began imagining the smells that would fill their kitchens when they were cooking their favorite meals. Their mouths watered as they imagined the tastes of their favorite foods. Best of all, they imagined going to bed with full bellies for the first time in weeks. Knowing that the caravan belonged to Uthman ibn Affan made the people rejoice even more, for they knew of his reputation for generosity. Surely he would give them a good price on the food if he was selling it. The merchants also rejoiced to hear that the caravan was approaching. For months, business had been slow because they had no food to sell. The people of Medina had stopped spending money in their shops. And so the merchants began to imagine their shops full of hungry people willing to spend any amount of money in order to eat and to feed their families. Knowing that the caravan belonged to Uthman ibn Affan was not welcome news for the merchants, however, for he had a reputation for being a very sharp businessman. Although he was fair, Uthman ibn Affan drove a very hard bargain. Nonetheless, the merchants immediately went to Affan. They wanted to buy the food from his caravan from him so they could sell it in their shops. They knew that in this time of famine, they could resell the food in their shops for two or even three times more than the usual price. So they were ready to pay any price that he asked. Uthman ibn Affan received all of the merchant's generosity graciously. No one was surprised, however, when he rejected all of their first offers. I'm afraid I cannot do business with you, he said, for I have already received a better offer. The merchants had expected they would have to offer him more money for the food, and they did. They raised their offers again and again, but each time he declined, repeating, I'm afraid I cannot do business with you, for I have already received another offer. The merchants began to grumble among themselves at this rate, they would barely make any money when they sold the food. Besides, 
They would have to charge so much money for the food, the people of Medina would barely be able to afford it. Maybe Uthman's reputation for generosity was exaggerated. By refusing the prices they offered, he was driving the price of the food up for everybody. Some people might not even be able to afford it at all. Finally, the merchants made their best offer. Five times the value of the cargo. Surely, Uthman would accept. Who could possibly have offered more? I'm sorry, Uthman responded. I cannot do business with you. You see, I have received a better offer from Allah, from God. For Allah has said that anyone who gives away wealth in God's name will get back far more than they gave away. So it was Uthman ibn Affan that refused all the money that the merchants offered him. Instead, he gave away all the food carried by the 1,000 camels in his caravan. He gave it all away in God, in Allah's name, for free to the starving people of Medina. The end. The end. Pretty amazing story, huh? So, one of the things that this story has to do with about our service this Sunday is that we're talking about the things in our lives that have changed since we went into quarantine during COVID. Some of us at the beginning of COVID said, I'm going to change my life in this way. I'm going to start this hobby, or I'm going to commit to this thing. And some of us did those things, and some of us didn't. And so then there were other things that we didn't expect we were going to start doing. And they may have just slipped into our lives and become part of our routine in a way that we didn't expect. Can you think of anything that came into your life in the last year that maybe you didn't expect? A couple will come to mind for me. One is that I started having pizza night every Friday. My pod started to make homemade pizza every Friday because we needed something to look forward to. So now for us, Friday is pizza night. I also started to talk to more friends on the phone. Phone calls, not just Zoom or FaceTime or video, but actual phone calls have become a normal part of my weekly routine. And I really love it. What are some things that have come into your life? What are some things that maybe you didn't realize were important to you? And then when we've been stuck at home over the past year, you've realized really are important to you. The way that that connects to this story for me is that this person, this man who had all these camels caravanning, all this food, had the potential to make much, much money off it. But he realized that one of the most important things to him was to give, was to please God. God loves when we are kind and generous and loving. And so Ibn, um, Utman Ibn Affan decided that that was actually more important to him than money was. And so I wonder, is there anything that you've realized is more important to you than something else that you valued? I've realized that spending time with my friends is more important to me than making sure that I get all my homework done. It's important to do your homework, but sometimes we get so much homework that we forget that it's important to spend time with our loved ones too. So think about some of these questions today. 
what is your money and what is your giving? What is something that you felt like you valued the most? And then maybe over the last year figured out that you actually value something else equally or maybe even a little bit more. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you come up with. So bring those questions with you into this coming week, knowing that I'm thinking of each and every one of you and that the church is holding you in love still during this time. Be well, my friends, and blessings on your week.